This is a build I did a while ago. Um, today the spring broke in here, so I had to go in and fix it. So I'm going to give a quick overview as I uh, reassemble this. So this is the guts of it. So I'm just going to put it back together now and reassemble it. I think I. This was a phonograph that I found in an antique store. It was actually uh, had a base on it, but that had a lot of water damage and it was no good. So the top, the lid, I used as the base, covered it with uh, copper. This is a brass uh, door jam or brass door lock. And uh, that's the on off switch. So when you pull that down, that allows the record player to go. And here's how it goes together. The original turntable slides on and uh, I have this little piece of uh, it's actually electrical tape just to act as a washer for the next piece now the next piece um, cut out a circle uh, those two screws in there are counterweights to even it out um, shape some copper with brass tacks basically to act as the base for the fire tornado and then uh, so that so that slides over that these holes here are guide holes for the mesh this is something I was playing around with as a, uh, a flame source and Basically, you can put a burner underneath, camping stove underneath there. The sand acts as a diffuser, and you can sprinkle uh, copper sulfate on the uh, flame or across the top of that. So when the flame comes up through, it gives you a green flame. So we line these up. That's the steampunk fire tornado. Let's give it a little wind. One, two. I can already feel the tension is good. Turn it on. And it eventually picks up speed. What I like about it is you can see the uh, mechanism working. That's some great engineering in there, and I don't know why anybody would want to hide it. 